Welcome to our first geometry video. This video is going to take a look at some geometry terms and some fundamental principles that we will be using in the coming days. Some important terms, notations, and pictures. The first one is point. A point actually has no dimension. We represent it by a dot, and when we draw that dot, we give it a label. We are usually labeling our dot or our point with an uppercase letter. A line extends in two directions without end. We can label a line with one script letter, such as K, or we could have points on our line, and we could label our line using those points. I could call this line K. I could call this line CA line CT, and I could call it several other things, AT, TA, AC, etc. A segment is just the endpoints and the points in between. It does matter here if I want to refer to this particular line segment that I choose those endpoints, and that would be CA, or I could call it AC same line segment. Array extends in one direction without end, and when I'm labeling array, I can choose any point that is on the extended part of the array to represent it, but I want to be careful to always put my arrow going in the right direction. An angle consists of two rays that have the same initial point. This is called the initial point, and so I could have a point out here. The initial point is O, and I have angle DOG. Could also be represented as angle GOD. A vertex is that initial point or the point where the sides of the angle meet. So we could call this angle Q. Now we will have different types of angles. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees. A straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees, and a reflex angle is more than 180 degrees. So I think of all of these as angles we can kind of make with our elbow, but we cannot make that one with our elbow, unless we have very generous double joints. We're going to have an entire video on angle pairs, but just to get you started, complementary angles are two angles with a sum of 90 degrees. Supplementary are two angles with a sum of 100 80 degrees. I think about this as C comes before S and 90 comes before 180, so you should be able to remember those. Vertical angles are two angles that are opposite each other and they're formed by intersecting lines. So if I were to draw a set of intersecting lines, the angles opposite each other are called vertical angles. They also make a V. Congruent are figures that have the same size and shape. And the symbol for congruent is the equal with the tilde on top. Similar figures have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So if I think about squares, I can have lots of similar squares. Same shape, but not the same size. And the symbol for similar is just that tilde. To bisect, a segment, ray, line, or plane intersects another segment at its midpoint or divides an angle into two congruent angles. If I think about an angle here and I have another ray coming in between it, it's a bisector if it divides this angle into two equal angles. Also, if I had a line segment and I had a ray going through that line segment or a line going through that line segment, if it's dividing this into two congruent segments, then it's a bisector. Bi meaning two. A polygon. Ooh, this is a long definition. It's a connected set of at least three line segments such that each segment intersects exactly two others, one at each end point. I can draw various types of polygons, a concave polygon that I just drew. I can draw a convex polygon. What makes this figure not a polygon is that I am only allowed to intersect two other segments at the end point. So if I think about this segment, it's intersecting this other segment here, and this is not an end point. So that is not a polygon. 
a regular polygon. Love this, very particular. A polygon in which all sides and angles are congruent. So we say it is equiangular and equilateral. The sides are the same length and the angles are the same measure. And I can have lots of different regular polygons. Now our types of polygons. Many of these you're familiar with, but just so we're all on the same page. A triangle, well, a triangle is a three-sided polygon. Quadrilateral, four-sided. Pentagon, five. Hexagon, six. Heptagon, seven. Octagon, eight. Nonagon, nine. And decagon, 10. A heptagon is also sometimes known as a septagon. Back in the day before Julius Caesar, September would have been the seventh month. Now we will take a look specifically at triangles. So a triangle has a first name and a last name. We can name a triangle by its sides, scalene, isosceles or equilateral. Scalene has no equal sides. Isosceles has two equal sides, and equilateral has three equal or all sides equal. We also can name triangles by their angles. They can be right, obtuse, or acute. To be a right triangle, a triangle need only have one right angle, so one angle measuring 90 degrees. To be obtuse, a triangle has only one angle greater than 90 degrees. To be acute, must have all acute angles. So that's our vocabulary for today. Stay tuned, more vocabulary coming your way, and more fun with geometry. Have a great day, everyone.